Since the 1st of January 2019, employers are no longer required to issue a P45 to an employee and submit the P45 Part 1 to Revenue. Instead, an employee's leave date is reported to Revenue in the final payroll submission made for the employee. During this video, I will guide you through how to process a lever in a current pay period, mid pay period, and how to process a lever with a taxable or non-taxable lump sum payment on termination. To process a lever in the current pay run, you must enter their leave date at the time of entering final payment to them and before you update the pay period. To perform this task, simply access process icon number three and select the employee using the drop-down listing. Next, enter all final pay items due to the employee. Once all pay items have been entered, tick the field provided to indicate the employee is leaving. At the prompt, tick yes. If it is correct that the employee is to be part of the current pay run you are processing, enter the employee's leave date as required in the field provided. Click update file to save this information you have entered. On updating your pay process using process icon number five, the associated payroll submission that is created for you will now include details of the employee leaving and their leave date. Simply prepare and submit the payroll submission to Revenue using process icon number 6. On successful submission, Revenue will now be notified that the employee has left your employment. The employee's record will also now indicate that they have left the employment and they will no longer be included in any future pay runs. The employee's leave date will also be available to view within their mid-year cumulative utility in their employee record. If you need to issue a mid-period final payslip, for example, you operate a monthly payroll and an employee is leaving mid-month, a dedicated facility is provided in the software. To access this facility, go to Payslips and then Process Final Payment for an employee leaving. If no further payments are due to the employee, simply select their name from the drop-down listing, indicate that you do not wish to make any further payment and enter their date of leaving in the field provided. Click Next. At the prompt, click Yes to confirm the employee is leaving. You will now receive confirmation on screen that the employee's final payslip with zero values has now been included in the PSR that has automatically been created for you and is ready to be submitted to Revenue. Simply prepare and submit this PSR to Revenue using process icon number 6. On successful submission, Revenue will now be notified that the employee has left your employment. The employee's record will also indicate that they have left the employment and will no longer be included in any future pay runs. If further payments are due to an employee at the time of leaving, select the employee from the drop-down menu and tick to indicate that you wish to make a further payment. If you are operating monthly payroll, you will be asked to enter the number of insurable weeks since the last pay period. Complete the final payment screen accordingly and enter the employee's date of leaving in the yellow box provided. Click Next to continue. The employee's final payslip will now be displayed on screen. If all is correct, click Finalize. The employee's final payslip will now be available for printing or emailing within process icon number 7. At the time of finalising the payment, a payroll submission, or a PSR, will also be created which will include the details of the employee leaving and their leave date. Process icon number 6 will indicate that this submission is outstanding. Simply submit this to Revenue using process icon number 6. The employee's leave date will also be available to view within their mid-year cumulative utility in their employee record. If you need to issue a final payslip to an employee to include a taxable or non-taxable lump sum payment, a dedicated facility is provided in the soft. To access this facility, go to payslips and then process final payment for an employee leaving. Select the employee from the drop-down menu and tick to indicate that you wish to make a further payment. Again, if you are using monthly payroll, enter the number of insurable weeks since the last pay period. Complete the final payment screen accordingly. Entering the taxable or non-taxable lump sum amount in the dedicated fields provided. Enter the employee's date of leaving in the yellow box. Click Next to continue. The employee's final payslip will now be displayed on screen. If all is correct, click Finalize. The final payslip will now be available for printing or emailing within process icon number 7. At the time of finalising the final payment, a payroll submission will also be created which will include the details of the employee's leaving and their leave date. Once again, process icon number 6 will indicate that this submission is outstanding. Simply submit this to Revenue using process icon number 6.